Do you need some help processing your photos? Well, you're in luck. Peter Eastway is taking us to a high mountain sheep station in New Zealand to bring us a new series of post-production tips. Some people believe that landscape photography is all about using a wide angle lens so that you can fit everything in. And that's true, some landscapes look fantastic that way. But I'm going to suggest that you pull out a telephoto lens. When we look at a landscape, we often see little bits which are more interesting than the rest. And I think that's where the telephoto lens comes in because we can zoom in on just that little area that looks really cool. So we're looking for shapes, we're looking for pattern. And when you come to a huge landscape like Middlehurst here, there's lots of mountains, lots of scenes in the distance that can really make great semi-abstract images. The other thing that landscape photographers love is the early morning and the late afternoon light. Why? Because the light skims across the ground, it gives you a beautiful side lighting. But in the mountains, like here in Middlehurst, any time of the day creates side lighting. There's always a mountain face that's angled to the light and looks fantastic. And just look at what we've got here. I'm going to get a few photos and then we're back to the homestead to see how all this comes together in post-production. There's nothing better than coming back down to the homestead after a shoot, sitting down at the window, looking at the view, opening up Adobe Lightroom on my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro and I am in post-production heaven. I've picked one of the photos that we took. It might be my Sarah Lee moment, you might say, where I've got layer upon layer of mountain range. We've got dark, light, dark, and that's what I want to enhance. My first step in Lightroom is just to go through the basic panel and ensure that my colour and exposure is exactly right. So, first step, I'll grab the white balance selector. I'm going to select in a number of different areas and just see what happens as I do it. And I pick a colour balance that makes me happy. It doesn't have to be super accurate, I just want it to look good. And we'll come to exposure. Looking at the image, I could possibly lighten up a little bit, but I don't want to lighten it up too much because I don't want to lose the detail in the snow. So lightening that up a skerrick, I'd sit back and I'd say, I'm happy with that as a starting point. One of my favourite tools in Lightroom is the adjustment brush, and we'll be using that quite a lot. Now, I specifically want to darken down that back jagged mountain range. I want it to look ominous. And when I'm selecting areas, rather than doing a very precise selection, I'm using a large brush with a big feather, and it makes it hard for people to see where I've been working. And as you'll see, that's starting to give it that really moody, stormy look. Now, for the final piece, I want to bring out the texture in that snow. So we're going to add another adjustment brush, and I'm going to just paint over that middle range there. And there's a new tool down here in Adobe Lightroom Texture. I'm just going to move that to the right a little bit, and you'll watch that the texture in that snow just starts to pop up. And what I've got is a really moody, emotional telephoto landscape shot something that I would never capture with a wide-angle lens. I believe photography is two steps, capture and then post-production. I'm Peter Eastway.